Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to show you how you are going to use digital IC tester. So first of all, why we need IC tester? So it is a very unique equipment. It will help you to know whether your digital IC is working or not. Sometimes uh, during the course of experiment, uh, it will be very difficult to troubleshoot whether we are going in a right way or not. So in that particular moment, if we have already checked the functionality of the IC, then it is definitely going to help us. So here you can see. So digital IC tester can be used to check the functionality of digital ICs like 74XX series and other digital ICs. So it can gives you functionality test, random IC hunting. Sometimes the information on the top of the IC has been erased. So at that particular moment, uh, random IC hunting will be very helpful in knowing which IC actually it is. So it saves a lot of time as IC tested in advance is of great utility. So this is your IC tester. So actually it is capable of testing both linear as well as digital ICs. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use for linear ICs. In later videos, I can show you how you can use for linear. In this video, I'm going to digital ICs. Uh, in the later videos, I'm going to show you how you can use it for linear ICs. So let's discuss what are the various components involved in the testing. So this is numeric key used to enter the number of the IC if you know uh, in advance. Otherwise, you can go for hunting. So this is the keyboard uh, to reset or to verify or hunt, whatever it can be. So it's a touch keyboard. Then hunt. If you don't know the IC, just insert the IC, just enter the number of pins and press hunt. So it will give you the number of the IC and also whether IC is functioning or not. So it's a quite a utility thing. Then more selection is there. In this, uh, you are going to select the mode, whether you are going to use it as a linear tester or your IC tester that is going to be selected here. So once you've selected, then you can press the test button. I am giving you the demo in the later part of this video. So here, these are two IC sockets. One is for digital, another is for linear. And IC is to be inserted in a different fashion. I will be telling you in the later part of the video. Uh, this is display. Here you will get the information whether you have selected a linear tester or digital. And later on, when you hunt, it will give you the IC number. And when you test, it gives you whether your IC is pass or fail. So here you can see uh, this is being zoomed. So this gives you digital tester. If it is linear, it will give you linear tester and pass 7408. So IC inserted here is 7408 and sometimes it fails. So it will give you fail and the number of the IC which you're going to test. Now regarding sockets. So uh, the Number is to be like this. It starts from one here and goes to down here from top to bottom. So one to seven and then seven to 14. So then you insert the IC, then pull the jack. So your IC is fixed, then you can test. So this is being done so that the socket is tight and you don't get any sort of short circuits. So that's the introduction about this IC tester. So now let's have a quick video on this. So demo from the lab. So first you turn on this. So here you can see it's a linear IC tester. And then you insert the IC into the digital. So also linear IC socket is there. So there you can insert it. So you pull this down 
once you insert so it should be bottom to top so bottom should be uh, other one and dot should be upright position so in this way you insert it it is shown in the video here on the side you can insert it yeah that's the proper connection so now you are going to press test so before you going to press you select the mode so you select the mode from mode you can select the digital you can see here then press the number of the ic 7408 then press test so now you can see the ic is being passed so this is the way this is a very good uh, equipment sometimes you want to uh, go for hunt so you select the mode then go for hunt then enter the number of pins so this is a 14 pin ic and then it will give you number of pins are 14 and then you can easily get the information whether your ic is passed or not so that's all for the day so i hope you like the video uh, please like share and support the channel thank you very much and see you next time with some other interesting video